Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The 25th regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. Almost a week later, the news on the signing of the Treaty of Severus reaches Armenia. Having a strong army is the sovereign right of any country. The Hollywood actor Joe Manganiello's grandmother was a survivor of the genocide. Joe Manganiello planted a few tree in the Park of Remembrance. The historical bridge of Chicago in Sunik region is being installed. Dolma or Hengali, Mimino festival will be held in Division. Armenian para armor wrestling team won of six medals at the World Cup. On June 19, the 25th regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. Nelly Haratunyan, the chairwoman of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, made an opening speech and presented the agenda on the session. In the first part of the session, the important issue was discussed related on the more objective discussion on the intellectual property, genetic resources and traditional knowledge at the UN. In the second part of the agenda, the ways to apply to the funds and the ways to be more there are in the programs, details have been presented. The President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenia Gabrahamian, presented the details and importance of the ratification of the Treaty of Severus to the deputies. Also, Armenia Gabrahamian invited to participate in the meeting organized on the occasion of the 8th anniversary of the ratification of the Treaty of Severus on one of the most important events for the Republic of Western Armenia to be held on June 23 in this year, 2024. At the end of the session, other current issues were also discussed. The news on the signing of the Treaty of Severus reaches Armenia almost a week later. The news of signing of the Treaty of Severus reaches Armenia almost a week later. On August 19, Haraj newspaper wrote in its editorial that August 10 should remain a historical date in the history of the world and especially in the history of East. The treaty was emphasized not only with the creation of Great Armenia State, but also with the hope that the camels would soon waken as well. Although a few days later, painful incidents happened in Zangezur. The Bolsheviks killed Vahan Horenu and Arshak Sirunyan, who were in deputies of the Armenian Republic of Caucasus. However, the government was trying to ensure the holiday mood as much as possible. And on August 19, in Yerevan, although the occupied capital was officially Erzurum, Karin, and the signing of the Treaty of Severus was celebrated with great ceremony. The city, as during the previous holidays, was decorated with the three colors flags and carpet. At 11 o'clock in the morning, the troops were lined up and the band was playing. Arrived General Hakhverdjan, General Nazar Bekyan, Silikyan and Ruben Terminasyan and Hamo Ohanjanyan, assistant to the military minister. Ambassadors and military attaches of various countries were also present at the event, addressing the soldiers and citizens. Ohanjanyan says that very soon the Armenian dream will finally become a reality. Having an army armed with combative and modern military equipment is the sovereign right of any country. This is how the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Eastern Armenia responded to Baku's statements regarding the military technical cooperation between Armenia and France. The Ministry of Defense of Baku referred to the purchase and sale of self-propelled artillery installations between Eastern Armenia and France accused parties of provocative activities in the South Caucasus. Eastern Armenia and Baku agreed that the highest level that they recognize each other's territorial integrity and sovereignty. In 1991, based on the declaration of Almata, said the statement. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs also states that our country adheres to this principle and has no ambition beyond its internationally recognized territory of 29,743 square kilometers. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs remind once again that this approach has been proven in practice by the initiative to demarcate four villages in Tavush region and Gaza region. Therefore, the ministry have fears that Baku's actions aim to launch a new aggression against Eastern Armenia after the COP29 summit to be held in Baku in November 2024. Actor-producer, director Joe Manganiello visited the memorial complex and museum of the genocide against Armenians within the framework of his visit to Eastern Armenia. The museum institute spread a message about this. Tervis Rosa Daragjan, the Hollywood actor's maternal grand-grandmother, survived the genocide. Her husband and seven children were killed by the Turks and the eighth child drowned while filling across the Yaprates River. Shortly after this event, Tervis's ninth child, Serapi, was born, the grandmother of Joe Manganiello. The actor talked about his great-grandmother from Harvard with great excitement and admiration. Joe Manganiello also toured the Genocide Museum in Yerevan where he got 
got acquainted with permanent and temporary exhibitions and made a note in the memorial book of honored guests. At the end of visit, Joe Manganiello planted a fir tree in the Park of Remembrance in memory of his great-grandmother Tervis Ross, Tadak Jan and grandmother CRP and fulfilled his long-held wish. Fixing and repair works of the branch of Shiragaho of Kapan community are being carried out. This was informed by the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports. The branch of 19th century of Shiragaho village was built over the river of the same name. It is single story. The front walls and the vaults are built with rough basalts and river stones, and the vaults of the vault are made with smooth basalt. Armenian and Georgian chefs are preparing for the most important festival. On June 22, the Mimino festival providing the Armenian Georgian culinary and cultural flavor will be held in Dilijan for the second time. It will bring together chefs from Eastern Armenia and Georgian under one roof who will compete with their culinary skills. The professional jury will also evaluate their work. The aim is to make the specialist of the dishes known to the general public. Within the framework of the festival, 45 stalls will present Armenian and Georgian dishes individually, and local residents will have the opportunity to sell rural crops and goods and works. Eastern Army and Jurian Para Armenian Wrestling Team won six medals at the World Cup held in the Pilisi. Team member 49 kg weight Artur Babayan in the 15 16 age group set a European record with the result of 105 kg and won silver and bronze medals. Rafael Hamazaspian won bronze and gold medals in the 15 17 age group with the result of 75 kg and 210 kg. Horen Zaturian won two gold medals in the 18 20 age group with 105 kg. Wait. This was all for today. Goodbye.